Norm Odeth, welcome to The Razor's Edge, and specifically today, you're marooned on Devil's Island. Um, it's it's already my work, me, Steve, same island and marooned. It's like <laughs> a bad dream already, this. So, so you got shipwrecked on the island while you're out on tour. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, 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 that makes it unlikely already, does it? <laughs> Or, or travelling between your ra- random gigs. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Um, um, so, so firstly, you're on the island, but before you got to the island, as the ship was sinking, you each grabbed an album that you couldn't live without. So Ooh. what album did you choose and why? Bloody hell. I don't, I don't know, because the mood changes every two seconds. That, that, this is like Steve's worst interview already, because people want to know <laughs> about music. <laughs> I can see on his face. I can see on his face. For me, I mean, it's a bit of a cheat, because it'd be the Kate Bush Greatest Collection, which has got every album she's ever done. So I'll be sort of for weeks. <laughs> Oof, it's a... I don't know. You see, if you ask me the same question 15 seconds later, it'll change, won't it? It's like that for many people, isn't it? I know, of course it is. Um, 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 uh, what am I going to go down with? I'm, 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 I'm going to go down on the ship with System of a Down because that would be that that'd be just glorious to go down to, wouldn't it? Fair enough. On the bridge like that, <laughs> uh, but why? Um, because the harmonies. So it's it's going to be hypnotised or mesmerised, probably mesmerised, um, just because they do all the harmonies I'm incapable of doing, um, and and it's just a, a band that can get it that heavy, that quirky, with that many great harmonies in it. I'll I'll I'll, I'll go down with the ship to that. Fair enough. I mean, my my mind would be Ace of Spades because there isn't a dull there isn't oh, cool. one bad song on that album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All oh, killer. It's the first album I owned as well. So. Apart from Ed Stupot's pop party, which doesn't count. <laughs> right. so, so sticking with that theme then, you're, you're on the island now, um, and there's a shack at the end of the beach for you to sleep in with enough space for you to put up a poster on the wall of your favourite album cover. So what, what, what album cover are you putting on the wall? Well, mine's going to be following the same themes, No Sleep Till Hammersmith. There was something about that photo it was just iconic. Yeah, when I, was, when I was a kid, um, especially when it, I remember going to Top Price Records, I think it was in Mansfield Four Seasons, and seeing it at number one, and they got the display and everything else up, and it was just like, yeah, very iconic for me. That I, I'll go for a poster I did have on my bedroom wall, um, and it was the biggest one I owned as well because loads of them were like little A three and A four posters, weren't they? But this was like a good old six foot poster as well. On good quality paper, I remember. Uh, Rainbow Rising. Yeah. It's pure. So, I, I mean, a bit like Stephen and Ace of Spades, I'd say. One, one of the earliest records I got into, first proper band I went to see. Um, and, and, and yeah, Rainbow Rising. What, what a sleeve. It's just what an album, but what a sleeve. Absolutely. So, you're sat on the island. Um, sorry. You're sat on the island. You need a drink. There is a bar. So, um, but you only get to choose one drink for the entirety of your stay. So, so what? What is your tipple of choice? Oh dear, oh dear. Go on, you go first. You're going to go for that plummy red stuff that you like, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, it is nice. I do like jam shed Shiraz, but uh, to be honest, I'm really into the brew dogs at the moment. Yep. Yum yum. Yeah, I think just brew dog punk. Yep. Could quite happily uh, live on that. <laughs> he says drinking, drinking the wife beater, but <laughs> <laughs> on the fruity stuff at this time of night. Right, really dark. I, I, I'm, I'm going to go the opposite way. I'm going to stay away from the ale because uh, it gives it gives you a bad headache, um, and I'll be up all night pissing. Um, so, so I'll go for the small stuff. Um, it will be a nice bottle. I'm going to sound like a right snob now. Um, I'm going to go for a nice 12-year-old bottle of Bunhaven um, because I do like Bunhaven and I particularly like 12-year-old Bunhaven. It's just is yum, it, yum, whiskey, yum. Is it? it is a nice whiskey, a, non, a non-peaty, a um, really rich kind of whiskey and it's yum, yum, yum. Uh, and I could I could sit and sup that all night. This is the point here, though. You, 
unless you don't have it on the rocks, because you're on a desert island, so no fringe, seawall. Well, that's true. No, no, I thought, no, 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 you make a very, very good point. Um, so, 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 yeah, you, you're, you're saying long and you need some water in there, and the ale suddenly gets good at this point because it's just <laughs> hoppy water, isn't it? All right, so you're, yeah, that's why you're paid the big money. Um, <laughs> that, that's a really, really, I'm still going to take bun half, and I, I mean, you know, I'll just do hydrate and shrivel up um because yeah. it tastes nice but your answer is much more deeply thought through well, it wasn't thought through but yeah i don't like yeah, really no, you should be quite pleased with yourself <laughs> you okay so your suitcases were lost when the ship sank but you each managed to salve salvage one item of band merch what's the merch and for what band oh, 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 oh. We, we're 50 something. I mean, I'd, I'd say, do you think we walk around wearing band t shirts? And here I am wearing a band t shirt. So, uh, which is quite, <laughs> band, Lando Norris. quite unlike me. I, I, I do have my favorite band t shirts, a Pennywise t shirt, circle logo. Uh, and I love that t shirt. But there's more cracks and more faded everything on it than shirt these days. Um, but that would be my favorite. So I'd have, I'd have to salvage that, and everything else can be burnt because it's it's loads of print on nonsical black T-shirts, isn't it? Um, and arm prints and back prints and every prints, everywhere prints. Um, so just a nice, simple one like Pennywise Circle will do for me. Nice. See, I, I, I generally don't have any that I hold any sort of affection for. Sure. You'd be taking your Hamilton T-shirt with you, yeah, I know. No, That's Hamilton good. the musical, by the way. Steve's a massive fan. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I'm sporting Lando today. I, I say I'm like, hey, making your way around the pit lane. <laughs> If that's what you want, Steve, rather than a band band T-shirt, if you if you want your your Hamilton T-shirt, that's fine. Bonds it when he does it on Sunday. We're wearing it proud. <laughs> Big day. <laughs> Not kidding. Um, so you're on the island. Everyone else is with you as well, all, all your bandmates. It's not just the oh, two. Of you. Really? So it's you're stuck going, on the island. God, worse, it's getting worse all the time. Not isn't badly, it? please, not badly. <laughs> <laughs> if, if there's one thing you could remove from the island in Lord of the Flies style, what would it be? <laughs> well, we'll get there in a little bit. So. <laughs> you're, stuck, you're stuck on the island and you're thinking, I'm stuck here with my bandmates for eternity. Who would you rather have been shipwrecked with? Oh, rather. Oh, interesting. Well, I've got to say the other half, haven't I? Otherwise, she's going to see this. Oh, one. well played. Good politician's <laughs> answer there. I'm glad you went first. <laughs> you say you're going to take your other half and drink water. What's happened? Well, I wouldn't be. I'll be drinking brew dog. I was thinking of you with your water. Well, that's a good point. Yeah. You know, my, my complexion. I won't want my skin to dry out, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Who would I go with? Well, I, 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 obviously, for, for, for a politician's answer, I would I, I will take my wife as well. Um, but if she's otherwise detained and washing her hair and do doesn't want to come on the desert island, um, uh, a really ans uh, really lazy answer. But why wouldn't you? Because everybody, I, I'm going to take Dave Grohl on the island with me <laughs> for no other reason than how many stories. Is, well, well, one, how many good stories has Dave Grohl got? Two, there's nothing to dislike about Dave Grohl at all. In fact, to the point of irritation that you can't find anything to dislike about Dave Grohl. He, he just seems to be the nicest bloke who's got really good stories. And that'd be OK to while away a few minutes with, wouldn't it? Drinking me bun harven and dehydrating. It'll be great. Good fight, well, mate. Fair enough. So, yeah. so, so the island is actually stuck in the eighties. So, um, you find a Walkman in your pocket, and on the tape inside is a recording of one live show that stands out for you. It can be any show from any band anywhere in the world. What show is on that Walkman? Oh, I like this game. This game's getting fun now. This is this is like this is like parlor games and music, isn't it? Can I jump in first? And can yeah, I get greedy? Exactly. That's, that's I, I, I've definitively got um, 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 top three gigs. And so I'm going to have three because I'm greedy and I found a couple of extra cassettes in my back pocket. I, I can tell you definitely because he's never changed my top three gigs of all time. Mm -hmm. uh, Slay a Rain in Blood Tour categorically. Uh, ab ab absolutely, ju just nobody had seen anything like it. Yep. Um, so absolutely that would be there. The Ramones mm -hmm. and Iggy Pop. Were my top three performances, all in Rock City, by the way, and all in the eighties. Fair enough, Steve. 
See, the one that stands out to me was Donington, 93. No. Interestingly, it was Motley Crue. Nice. When they first came out, because it was they, they just completely and utterly was something different to what we were listening to. And we were fully <laughs> expecting them all to get blown, like bottled off and booed and all that sort of stuff, which they were for about 10 seconds. And then everybody to a man got into the show. It was really good. And then obviously you got ACDC headlining. Um, I don't think there was a bad band on that line. It was a Gary Moore, Y&T. Ooh, come on. That's uh, getting who good. Else was on the, who else was on that year? The, the, I still love yeah. Y&T. Yeah, it was, it was a really good, really good... Uh, Never awesome. been a Paul. I, I've got to say, I've never seen Crew do a bad show ever. No, well, um, I didn't see all the times I've seen them. Were, were great every single time I saw Crew. Yeah, no, I thought I mean, it was it was it was one of those where you could just feel the excitement build, and to the end of it, we were just like, "Got to go and see these again." And then we got front row tickets for the concert, all, didn't we? On the theatre. I remember going to that. I, I didn't. I was on the second row with Lucy. Uh, Lucy, no, Lucy no, Pearl. Front, front. Yeah, uh, but they, they were still going creep. Uh, cheap Trick supported them that night as well. Yeah, they did. Both twin neck guitars and all that. Yeah. I can't remember what I had for my breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Cheap Trick supported. Yeah, it was brilliant. It was, it was loads back then. I mean, you think Ozzy Osbourne were wrapped. That, that yeah, they, well, all, all the shows got big, didn't they? That was the thing. Yeah. So yeah. everybody had production at that point, everybody had fireworks. Yeah. Every, every, everybody had, you know, uh, Dio, Lasting Line, all those kind of yeah. tours were around the same time. All had killer support bands, all yeah. had big production, um, and they were just great gigs. And we were probably, we were proper nippers back then. Well, as well. Yeah. So you got really, and bought programs and stuff actually, like that. Yeah. Actually, I might change it because I've actually got the video. Um, it was Saxon at the console, very first gig I ever went to. Okay, Eagle Tour. And if you look carefully in the crowd, you can spot our bass player, Parco, stood with his mum and dad. <laughs> <laughs> the <crowd>. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see him till Crusader. That was the first time I saw yeah. Saxon. Yeah, we saw him on that one, uh, Eagle has landed. Nice. Awesome, yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right, so moving on. Um, you're getting desperate. You decide the only course of action is to put a message in a bottle and hope someone finds it. So your message can be to any member of any band, but should be to the most suitable for a rescue attempt. So who are you sending a message to? Oh, he's a, whoever's headlining 10,000 tonnes of metal or whatever it's called with that big boat. <laughs> <laughs> Come and get me now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, just a band with a boat for me. <laughs> I'd say Henry Rowlings because he seems like a sort of chap that's quite handy and know what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, he'd probably deck a couple of coconuts on the way in. That would be an interesting he's, one. He's to the call, of metal, isn't he? Yeah, yeah no kidding. I, I love Henry as well. I think Henry's yeah. amazing. He's got better and better. I think as well. Yeah, he could tell a good story as well. So could... Yeah, get him and Grohl yeah. and and a boat, and we're good to go at this point. It's <laughs> it's getting really great. But it's, it's, it's taken a turn now, then. So you, you've been stuck here a while. Food supplies are running low. There's only one thing for it. Which fellow band member do you sacrifice? Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even get my mouth open you know, <laughs> that fast. <laughs> you wouldn't expect anything less, would he? <laughs> no, I'm, no, no, no. Pa, 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 he, Paddy would probably laugh about it, go, oh, uh, and then let us do it. So he may, he may as well be. Bill, Billum's going to give us a rationale as to why he can't do it. Parco's uh, boxy. There's <laughs> um, wrong with that pa Parco won't be bothered. <laughs> so, you, know, I, you know, I can't be bothered to be sacrificed. Um, Paddy, Paddy will have his pockets full of parrots, so there's additional like uh, hors d'oeuvres to go with it. Now, I like your line of thinking yeah. there. Yeah, a little, little, little bit of colourful turkey on the side would be quite nice, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> Yeah. Paddy, it is then. Yeah. Just, 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 yeah. Fair enough. Paddy's Bring gone. On. Probably yeah. say shit though. <laughs> <laughs> just a guess. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I've never tried eating paddy, and he's not something that you know. I'm sort of you know, a few of a thought of. But oh yeah, yeah. Can, you, can you imagine? Certainly not much on the rump. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to think about it. No, no I wouldn't. Uh, so last question on the island um, when the ship sank you managed to save one person from the wreckage 
that person is a musician who's influenced your career the most. So who have you saved? Oh, now that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, my, my hero was always Lemmy, but obviously I don't play bass, so <laughs> he's not really influenced my, my playing. Um. I suppose Motorhead are a massive influence on this band. I mean, we say it every time, don't we? It, 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 it's probably the only band that we all agree on. Um, so, so in terms of influence, Motorhead are big. Um, in terms of vocal icons, it's Ronnie. Not that I ever sound like Ronnie, could ever sound like Ronnie, or even try and emulate Ronnie, because he, it's never going to happen, is it? He has um, the best voice in metal, really. But he had the definitive voice. Um, so if, I, if I'm going to save somebody and wouldn't it be great just to have Ronnie back it's great to have Lemmy back it'd be great to have Motorhead back um, but yeah it'd be, it'd be Ronnie for me yeah Steve well, I'd say it'd be Lemmy Lemmy yeah. it would be Lemmy yeah. oh this, this boat's getting good yeah <laughs> we've got we've got Ro- we've got Rollins and Grohl telling us stories in a boat where we've just saved Lemmy and, uh, and Ronnie James Dio yeah. it's it's a good night out now. Absolutely. You might as well stay on the island with that lot. You may as well. <laughs> Turn it round. <laughs> we've had Paddy. <laughs> yeah, we've got rid of Paddy, yeah. We've eaten him, so he's gone. Um, yeah, party on. Brilliant. Lads, uh, th- thanks for joining us on the island. And, and I hope... That was I've our pleasure. Do we get do, do we get like little water wings now to paddle off into the distance with or something like that? <laughs> I, well, I've got a boat to get off, but I've got no room for you two, so I'm leaving you behind. Fair enough. Oh, well, back to the inflatable <laughs> flamingo, it is then, Steve. Yeah, I mean, yeah charming, eh? <laughs> My turn next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>